falls in line a little bit with the fund reporting that we were looking at earlier because the cost centres and the departments are also um, financial segments, which means again they are uh, pulled in to any of the reporting and mean that you can break your data out across those cost centres or departments. So I'm just going to take a look at. First of all, I'll go back to my home page. And my home page has got some of the useful information that I want to be able to view. Obviously, we took a look at some of the, the, the fund balances. Here I've got um, a project expenditure because in addition to the core segments, which are the departments and the cost centers, we have the optional extras of income and expense attributes. Now they are optional, you don't need to use them, but in this example for today, I've got them set as projects. So we have the transactions that you can see listed. They have gone against a specific uh, expense category and allow me to record everything that's processing against those transactions. Okay, so we'll come back and take a look at that. But first of all, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna go to the departmental. Now this is everything that's gone through by department for the current month. Okay, now I just choose to look at a certain number in here at the top, top 10. Um, but this certainly can be expanded out and I can review more information on here within the screen. I can sort them so that I'm currently doing that by department, but I might want to do it by amount or account. And I'm going to just take a look at the junior bursa office allows me to drill down into all the detail that pulls through into that summary level. And I'll scroll down on here and I can pick out, pick out one here on the junior bursa office. And I'll go in and view that transaction. Okay, so similar to what we were looking at earlier, this is a fun type of general, which means it's going to allow me to then select the cost centers. Okay, so the cost center of general, I can now select. I've got external, internal, tuition and catering. Those are the defaults that come in the system. And if you want to rename them, then that's fine. But these are the defaults that exist in there. So general is for my cost center. And then I have a list of available departments. Now these are dynamically updated based upon your cost center. So if I change from general to um, internal, my cost center and my department that's related to that will then be cleared out and I get a new set. So again, this just ensures the alignment that you get between the cost center and the department. Again, sort of leading the users if they're entering them manually to make the right decisions and keep your reporting analysis in line with where you need it. Line level detail also allows for expense and income attributes to be added on here as well. So once the information is tracked, and again, this goes against the, the nominal code, um, so supports again the reporting side of things, then we can start to utilize those in some of the some of your um, the cross section of reports. So this is something that NetSuite handles really neatly. I'm going to just open up the uh, expense, uh, income and expenditure report. Now, the great thing with these reports is you can have, you know, sort of one backbone of the report, which is giving you your sort of financial rows that you want, but you can then take that data and sort of slice it to you, your needs. At the moment, I have this set to cost center. Okay, and that's given me a breakdown of each of my sales or purchases by those specific cost centers. And I've got the sort codes added in here as well for additional information. But should I want to change how I'm viewing this data, then I could change it to fund type, for example, refresh the information, and I then have the same backbone of the report. But now I'm looking at my same set of data, but over a different cross-section. So I'm now looking at it by fund types. So it's really straightforward to be able to take the same set of data, but just change your view of how you're, how you're looking at it. So I'll change mine just back to cost center for the moment. 
I'm just going to drill down into one of the lines on here to view additional transaction information. So I'm going to go into the overseas distribution here. And from that main summary level report, I'm then taken into the college profit and loss detail report. So I'm taking that one nominal code and I'm now seeing all of the activity that has gone against this with the fund number, cost center, fund types, et cetera, that are all associated to it. So it's a very powerful drill down, which in turn allows me to click on, as we've done previously, and take me directly to a specific transaction that may be of interest to me. Some of the other ways in which I might want to view the data in a similar way, but because I have these building blocks, I can then really utilize them across different methods of reporting just to make sure that you have the, the views that you want to be able to publish. So in here, I'm looking at my funds by cost center, again, fund type, by fund number, and then I've got my cost center across the top. Again, summary level, um, totals um, across the rows and each of the subsections or funds by departments again general restricted by fund but this time by departments across here I've also utilized this for the expense attributes as well so these are the three projects that we have ongoing at the moment so we have the summer events replacement and renovation and this is building out based upon the postings that are being made against these specific items and therefore which event project these are associated to. So all of this data comes from one source within NetSuite but allows you to be able to mix it to get the results that you need and it just comes from one source and this sort of set level of transaction detail. So we can see here got individual transactions, sort categories, and then it goes on with the fund types, fund numbers. So by having all of that data there at the financial level, it provides a really powerful tool for you to be able to create the reports that you need to be able to produce, ensuring that you're all taking it from the same set of financial data.